Hello and welcome. This is an interesting video. Uh, I think you can see from my smile that I am excited again. Um, I'm testing four um, Suku products. One is new, totally new, and three are new to me. Um, this is my first time testing Suku, so I'm really excited. And spoiler alert, I'm not testing the new uh, Plus palettes. I would really, really want to test those. Those look gorgeous. But I've been seeing swatches about those palettes and they look way too pigmented, way too dark to me. Especially the highlighters definitely do too dark for me. So there is other products than the uh, blush palettes. But let's get into this review uh, and I hope you're going to be as excited about these when this review is over. So let's start. All right, let's begin. Um, first, I'll test this uh, Paese. I don't know if it's said like that, but Paese. Uh, this is their new Nano Revit line, and it's a lip kind of primer balm uh, treatment, something like that. I have tested a couple of uh, things from this new Nano Revit line, and especially their uh, foundation and uh, these lip, um, these are not gloss, these are high gloss li liquid lipsticks are uh, excellent. Uh, they are um, skin caring makeup which kind of reduce the irritation of skin, so definitely something I need during winter. It feels like very, very thick lip balm. So we'll see how the um, lipstick goes on with this one. I'm going to use two primers. First, um, the By Terry CC Serum. I have the white one, which is Immaculate Light number one. Um, I use this as a um, primer in foundation tests from now on, because um, this is something I use almost daily and also I know how my foundations uh, wear with this primer. Uh, and for nose, uh, Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. I, I've come back to this old love and continue or re Really love this product again. Uh, why I use primer when I'm testing foundation is uh, to give more chance to perform in my dry areas and then as my nose is the oily, oiliest part of my face uh, and I know how this um, ebooky works um, I can compare better because this is something I use every day so I want to see similar results as I would be using this in my normal day. Uh, actually, what I forgot to say uh, possibly is that it's now late in the evening, well, five. I'll try this foundation tomorrow again so I then get the full day wear test. Uh, so I'll leave to comment how it wore during the day. I haven't ordered any Suku products before, so I didn't know what kind of the package is, and it's gorgeous. It's kind of this satiny matte uh, package. There is a little bit of white text, and then there is this name Suku and the foundation name. And the foundation itself, you might have seen the package. This is. Uh, it's not totally even, so it, it's kind of a wave-like. Oh, it looks quite yellow. Um, it was supposed to be neutral, but it looks a bit yellow. A little bit to the brush, and here we go. It's definitely leaning to the warm side. It is really thin formula, so um, I can make this work. It goes to the skin really beautifully, like really beautifully. It is very light texture, um, almost a bit lighter actually than the By Terry uh, Hydra foundation I used in my previous video. Uh, and as you can see, less coverage 
um, the whole concept of these two foundations is different so we can't compare but the, they are um, remind each other in the beginning as they are very liquidy but still very different it's really really skin like um, you might even be fooled that my skin looks like this as it is so i wouldn't be using any foundation it's such a skin like finish um, yes i can see all my pores uh, i can see actually i can't see that much i can see of course my hyperpigmentation but with this skin like finish and this lightness uh, i see much less uh, this hyperpigmentation than for example with the uh, um, Bitery Hydra um, foundation which has more pigment so very interesting all right um the tail is back she hasn't been in my videos in a such a long 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 time so um she's a bit confused at what's this stuff all right okay go there now we get to the interesting part which is powder uh, i had already decided i'm not going to buy any new powders anytime soon because it's just the product i use least in my routine there are days that I don't use any powders, but then I saw Michelle Wang doing um, testing this product because it just came out and uh, the base on what she told about it made me think that, okay, this is something for me. Uh, this is oil rich glow loose powder. Um, apparently there is Um, it is said that it's infused with high percentage of skincare ingredients and beauty oils. And apparently there is a little bit of sparkling kind of micro glitter or something. So I'm a bit um, worried about that. But the fact that there is a powder which has oils infused, it sounds like heaven to my fall and winter dry skin. So I really, really want to try this. It is a translucent powder or supposed to be translucent powder um, but apparently there is some kind of color or tint. It comes with a puff and then there is the safety seal. And then there is uh, this kind of net mesh fabric here so you're supposed to take your powder from there. Uh, I don't want to take it with the puff and press it to my skin because it's way too much. I don't I don't do that. So instead I will use the brush I usually use for my under eye uh, and take a teensy tiny bit of this product um, to the brush. And what I usually do is that I tap the excess off and kind of into the brush so there's not too much and then here we go uh, I, i'll be brave and start with my under eye area at least on my under eye i can't see any kind of excess amount of micro glitter so there's not that much supposedly but it does look beautiful on under eye skin then next step nose and next to my nose area what i heard is that it's it doesn't give fully matte um, end result but instead it does kind of mattifies but gives a beautiful satiny sheen to the skin and based on what i'm seeing here it really does that Again, I take a little bit from the package and kind of tap it into the brush and 
press it to the skin. I've been recently loving this EcoTools full powder brush. It's a dual fiber powder brush and it's really gentle to the skin so it doesn't kind of move my foundation at all. And then it's good to grab the product to the, to the inner kind of this dark uh, bristles and then the ones in top are more fine so they give this kind of airbrush air brushed look okay a woman who doesn't ever powder full face is what does she think of this now i can see the micro glitter just a little bit you wouldn't be able to see it if you were next to me. You need to look really close. Um, I, 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 think, I think I like this. They have several eyeshadow quads uh, with permanent shades. And I think this is one of them. This is shade... Oh dear. It's only in Japanese. I'll put it to the comment sections um, it looks like this so there is the orange and this is actually light pink and then um, yellow mustard yellow and this purple shade this is the first Zuku palette I own and actually um, I don't buy okay this is a video of things I don't buy but I don't buy quadrats uh, especially these expensive quadrats because just um, they usually don't make sense to me or they make sense that you can create only that one or two looks but I couldn't resist because these are such delicious colors the combinations are very unique and very different I'll start with the yellow shade this is utterly interesting um, some reviews say that these lack in pigmentation and some sh say that these have excellent pigmentation so um, we need to see which one is true or is the truth somewhere in the middle um, well interesting the first application i was thinking that okay there's not that much pigmentation because the first layer was really uh, thin but now that i have dipped my brush three times to the yellow and started to build it up i actually do get a good uh, payout uh, a very wearable wearable play payout so this is not instagram pigmentation this is everyday pigmentation and it makes me even more happy because I don't live Instagram life, I live actual life good. Then same brush um, and other side of the brush, this is how I do my makeup. The orange shade and this seems to have, at least in the brush, quite a lot more pigmentation. Interesting. Oh yes, and quite a lot in the eye as well. But these are very different. Um, my current favorite eyeshadow formulas are um, Natasha Denona and Anastasia Beverly Hills. And both um, are really pigmented to the point that they are sometimes hard to blend because the color, when you put it somewhere, it stays there and it stick, sticks there and you can see the patch where you put it first. And this is has same quality as um, what comes to blendability well not blendability but the creaminess and kind of softness and luxurious feeling but these are very easy to blend then i'll take the purple shade um, this is kind of an eggplant shade to the brush looks like good pigmentation not i wouldn't yes I wouldn't expect this to be kind of really deep, really intense. This is definitely goes with the line with the two other ones. It blends in, it deepens it, it gives color. Even I 
place it on top of the orange, it still manages to keep the purple shade. Then I'll take a flat natural brush, natural hair brush and to the pink shade, light pink shade and to the inner corner. I expected to have that kind of Anastasia Beverly Hills metallic bow uh, inner corner highlighter effect. And now that I see what I see is like, of course, Suku wouldn't do that. They give you a beautiful um, pale, almost white shade, a little bit of metallic sheen, uh, more pink in eye than in the palette, um, elegant, luxurious. This looks good. Eyeliner mascara on. I'll link the products below. Then I have one final product and this is also a Suku uh, lipstick. Um, beautiful, beautiful packaging. This is an old shade. This is not a new. Um, this is shade number four. Uh, there is also a name. I'll put it below. I'm not going to butcher it. Um, Again, something I don't do <laughs> is buy lipsticks online because the shades can be whatever. Uh, but I, I had to jump in because I was hoping to see something like this. Uh, a good proper orange lipstick and finally I got what I hoped for, at least on package. So let's go in. No lip liners. Uh, I want to see first how this behaves. Mm. I just remembered I have the primer on. Okay. Oh. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but this is really creamy. It it kind of I kind of thought that it's more more like a matte lipstick. Not. Really creamy and there is this sheen. Um, I'd like to see say a metallic sheen, but it's not. Color. <laughs> oh dear, I know what I'm going to be wearing this season. Um, the color is exactly what I was hoping for. The formula is, it's really creamy and it's not opaque. Um, it does kind of stick a little bit to the dry patches and lines. So um, if you have a lot of lines, uh, maybe more mature skin, you want to use lip liner and I'm most certainly going to use lip liner underneath this to just keep it last longer. I have no expectations that it would, this was, would last eating, for example. It would be most certainly gone, but it's utterly comfortable and, and soft and like a balm feeling on my skin. So again, going towards winter and snow and everything, uh, I don't mind. All right, here is the end result. And I'm really happy about the products I used. Concealer, of course, I've been using for a long time, so I knew how it goes. But everything, my foundation looks great. Uh, I don't feel at all itchy because of the powder, which I usually do in, with most powders. Eyeshadows, uh, love it. Color and the formula of lipstick, love it. Uh, there is nothing to complain. Um, I'm a I'm happy camper. I'm really happy camper. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, uh, yes, you can give me a thumbs up. Uh, it would help me to uh, 
continue my YouTube's um, journey because then they would know that you love this and they would recommend it to other people as well. So it would help. But feel free how you feel. And now I wish you have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.